Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Make sure your Shopify store is even more professional in 2023 by connecting your Namecheap domain. This guide will walk you through the integration process, helping you establish a strong online presence. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. First thing to do guys is obviously by heading up to Namecheap. Next thing is to click on domains and here it is the page that we are going to work with. In this page you can do two things. If you do have a name in mind, it can be your name, your nickname, your organization name, enterprise name, project name or whatever random name you want, uh, can simply just put it here and it will give you all the domains with that name. But in case you were struggling, struggling with an actual name for your domain, well, you can use this beast mode. The beast mode in Namecheap will provide you with a bunch of names that you can use for your websites. For example, here I'm going to use football, gaming, FIFA, and money. These four names, let's put the price, we don't care about the range. Here, let's use it as... Uh, let's see what you want exactly. Um, fun. Yep, select all. Sports and hobbies, select all. Just like that, we have around four names and some kind of uh, TLDs. So now let's generate and see what names that we are going to get. So there is football that audio, there is football that bingo, the buzz, uh, the game, the games. So there is a bunch of names uh, that start with football and gaming and uh, money. If you want even here, it, you, it will be loading you on our, uh, more than 100 domain. Like here, as you can see, it will be around 168 domains in total. So each one of these domains can be bought, can be offering. So all, not all of them are actually available in the market for you to buy them, but there is some of them that you can make an offer for the actual owner of it. As an example, there is this football bingo, which is, let me check the website if it is currently working. Um, let me just copy it, paste it. And yeah, it is not working at the moment, but you can make an offer for the owner of the, uh, the, like, the website itself. Let me just go and check. Oh yeah, it is not working as you can see. So you can make like an offer for him. You can type whatever price you want uh, or you have in mind. The minimum is two hundred dollars. So you have to put to post uh, uh, an offer which is a minimum of two hundred dollar, and then you will be able to negotiate with him about the price and get the the domain name if you want. But if you were just trying to get any random domain, well, you can go for the cheaper ones that can vary between two to three dollars just by clicking here and putting it to five dollars as an example. But this is not what you are going to do now. Now I'm just going to go straight forward and get a domain very quick, very easily. Click here to add it to cart. This is a domain that starts with football and with radio. Go to the checkout page to see every details about the domain. Here you have some add-ons to approve your site. It starts with, uh, for example, if you are interested in getting the domain that ends with co.com, you can get it with 6k, but yeah, this is out of our like uh, uh, range. Uh, here you have a web hosting if you want a web hosting to come with your website. There is a business email, WordPress hosting, an SSL, VPN, premium DNS, social media manager, and review manager. You can add any one you like of these add-ons and try them out. Of course, some of them will cost you money, some of them will be as, as a free trial for the first month. So it's completely up to you. Now, once you are done with this step, here guys, make sure that in case, in case you were just going to use this domain for less than one year, put this at one year and then remove this auto renew option, make it off. Because once you forget about the fact that you have a auto renew, you will be charged the next year with the $7, which you don't really want that to happen. Here we can post any kind of promo code. As an example, here we have this honey code. We can copy it, paste it here and apply it. And there we have it. Click to confirm, and then now you will be able to log into your account. Just put your credentials and then sign in to continue. In this page, you only have to put your 
payments method it starts with your normal payments method as a credit card so here just put your name on card card number year and month and then the cvc code and then you have to pick up your billing address which you will be filling in this section over here just click on new contact and you'll be able to add it here you have the second method which is paypal and the last method which is by uh, account funds so you can add actually account funds to your account on nameship so you'll have balance in your account instead of making purchase each uh, day and each time you have to make a purchase you have to add your credentials and your card info you can simply just make some balance in your account that you will be using from now on and what are the extra benefits of having balance is that you can actually put balance in your account and get it by cryptocurrency there's crypto from bitcoin bitcoin cash and ethereum so this is a very interesting method after you feel like you're done just simply click simply click on continue and then you will receive a receipt inside of your inbox make sure to read it and confirm the uh, bot process and then your link or domain name will be um, activated after that just head up to your dashboard and you will face this uh, page as you can see in front of me now it's pretty much easy and straightforward what you need to do is go to your Shopify store so as you can see here let me just go to Shopify login as you can see here login to my account and now I'm just going to create a new store since I don't have any current store activated and here I'm just going to skip all as you can see and next here i'm going to log in again and then the shop shall be created as you can see right in front of us so just wait a little bit and the shop will be uh right between your hands so this is for the store creation it's very easy very straightforward now to connect the domain name simply guys the most important thing is that you have to actually buy a plan the plan starts in shopify for the first store that you create with one dollar per for the first six months so after that it will be even more but for the first six months you will be charged only one dollar it's pretty insane i know but yeah um you can go for it you can leave it it's completely up to you now let me just back after the website be created and here we go so now guys all you need to do is click on add a custom domain add the domain and here as you can see we can connect existing domain and here let me just copy this one paste it over here next and as you can see it's pretty easy now from now on so now the domain has been connected connection your domain follow settings instructions to verify and to connect your domains to this website so now just follow these so connect your domain to Shopify here we go so here to connect your domain to Shopify to avoid interruption, etc. etc. Uh, you need to connect your domain to Shopify. If you don't connect your domain before you transfer, then visitors to your domain might experience connection errors. Prepare your domain transfer. This is what not but what we want to do, but we want to actually uh, connect our domain directly. So, how can we actually connect our domain uh, directly to our uh, Shopify store? So it's very very easy guys in this page in this page specifically here as you can see you will find these links so here you will find these links what you'll have to do is simply head up to your account here and go to manage and simply all you have to do is copy each one of that of these links and put them in the name servers over here so it's going to be custom dns paste them in the name server one name server two until you finish all of them connect it like that and just like that you have added your namesheep domain to your shopify store it is very easy guys and yeah guys thanks a lot for watching that was it for today's video and see you guys in the next tutorial